Here is a quick overview of the Pile PLCM DBR52 dash cam system. The unit comes with the following a USB based charger, a car adapter with USB plug ins, double sided sticky tape and mounting brackets, and a user manual. Make sure when plugging in the USB adapter to a car outlet that the blue light lights up and plug the USB cable into the 2.1 amperage slot at the bottom for proper charging. On the front of the unit, you will see your menu button, your down and up options. This is also for zooming in and out your power button and your OK menu. So when you're going through the menus, you can select and then your mode button, which will switch between the different camera modes. You've got two cameras here that both swivel. They go about 345 degrees, meaning you can't go fully around. You have to, it'll hit a stopping point at one point. And you'll have to go the other way to get a better angle. On the top unit, You'll see a USB mini charging port. You'll see the DC 5 volt plug in, and you'll see your reset. You can stick a pin in here and reset to the de factory default settings. On the side, you'll see the HDMI. This is for going out to like a TV monitor or something like that. And then you have an SD card slot here, which is for inserting. A nice little micro SD card into. Okay, to get started, after you plug in your cable up here to the DC, you know the DC uh, five volt to your car, you'll see a charging indicator light right up here, the red. Whenever you press and hold the power button, you'll see a blue light come on and hear a sound. And then your LCD sh display should show a picture within a couple seconds. Okay, once you see that, you'll see that it automatically starts to record with a red blinking light in the top left hand corner here. To stop that, just hit the OK button. And you'll see that it stopped. And now you can switch modes. So hitting mode, we'll switch to a singular camera. Hitting the mode button again, it's back to split cameras where it's doing two. One camera here, one camera here. Hitting the menu button will also change the recording type. And pressing and holding the menu button will bring up the options. And using the up and down arrows, you can navigate through these to change like motion detectness, recording audio, um, exposure, and everything like that. Hitting menu again will close it. Make sure that you have a micro SD card in here. Make sure that you install a micro SD card if you wish to record or else it won't even let you record anything. For any further instructions, please refer to the user manual.